Beth Middleton back with you today to talk about bracelets. Some of you may have worn a bracelet or a hat or a t-shirt many years that, ago that said WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, my husband this week gifted me with a new bracelet that said WWJD, but it also said HWLF. And I'm like, what does HWLF mean? And he said, he would love first. So what would Jesus do? He would love first. And this is by no means a marketing campaign, but it reminded me that there is an answer to that. What would Jesus do? He would love first. And Bobby wears many bracelets. Some he's had since my youngest son was in fourth grade and had a teacher that presented the kids all this Navy bracelet that had um, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 on it that um, he ended up inheriting from Oliver. And he has a gray one, Exodus 14, 14, that he got somewhere else. And then the third one he got out of the farm when Catherine Goudreau presented the stair kids and the summer learning program in the congregation at that five o'clock service during our fall festival Reformation Sunday. And it, that talked about um, side, seeing God sightings. And um, it's so funny because it's like a children's size. And so it fits really um snugly on his arm, but he wears those three bracelets every day. And so he's also added another one. But I also wanted to read you today the scriptures that go along with his bracelets and then add another one that I think is appropriate for this new bracelet. The first one I'm going to read is from Thessalonians, and I'm using the message again, my COVID Bible um, of choice. First Thessalonians 5.18. I'm going to start at 16 and read 16 and 18. Be careful no matter what. Pray at all time. Thank God no matter what happens. This is the way God wants you who belong to Christ Jesus to live. And that's his navy blue bracelet. His gray bracelet is Exodus 14, 14. God will fight the battle for you. And you keep your mouth shut very direct. And then, um, I can't really remember the scripture that Catherine used that day, so I'm just going to use one that I found. It's Psalm 105, and um, it starts out like this. Hallelujah. Thank God. Pray to him by name. Tell everyone you meet what he has done. Sing him songs. Belt out hymns. Translate his wonders into music. Honor his holy name with hallelujahs. You who seek God, live a happy life. Keep your eyes open for God. Watch for his works. Be alert for signs of his presence. Remember the world of wonders he has made, his miracles, and the verdicts he's rendered. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O child of Jacob, his chosen. And the last scripture I want to read is one that I have chosen. And I always remember um, an anthem that the choir sings, I give you a new commandment to love one another. And we know that this is the mandate that we, that we read on um, Maundy Thursday. This scripture comes from John 14, I'm going to start at verse 15 and read a few verses. If you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. I will talk to the Father, and he will provide you another friend, so that you will always have someone with you. This friend is the Spirit of Truth. The godless world can't take him in because it doesn't have eyes to see him. Doesn't it know what to look for? But you know him already because he has been staying with you and will even be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I'm coming back. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me. 
but you're going to see me because I am alive and you're about to come alive. At that moment, you will know absolutely that I am in my Father and you're in me and I'm in you. The person who knows my commandments will keep them. That's who loves me. And the person who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and make myself plain in him. That's from John 14, 8 verses 15 through 21. But I thought this was a great reminder. And what are you supposed to do with this bracelet? Well, I looked it up on the website, and the website said, you know, you can give a bracelet to the person who asks about it. You can buy enough bracelets to give them out to your friends. You can do a kind deed. You could pay it forward. You could pay for someone's lunch or from somebody's Starbucks. But I just love this message. There's many things you can say, what would Jesus do? What would you do in a situation? But if you always look at it as the person in front of you is a child of God, and you act as if you would make the decision Jesus would make. And the first decision I think Jesus would make is to act in love. So go today and act in love. And that's what Jesus would do.